Are you curious about the express entry system and you really don't know how to go about becoming a permanent resident of Canada? If so, you've come to the right place and I'm so excited to have you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you shortly. So in this video, we're going to be exploring what exactly express entry is and how you can actually create an express entry profile the factors that need to be considered for your point score and the process of actually getting an invitation to apply for permanent residency so express entry is a point-based system okay that invites skilled workers to become permanent residents of Canada to start you must first create an express entry profile by answering questions on a the six broad categories such as your personal details contact details study and language information application details representative information which is simply just asking you if you're going to be using a representative meaning more like a registered immigration consultant to carry out and to submit your application and also other questions relating to your work history all of these are more are the details that you need to provide when opening an extra express entry profile so based on your background information you will receive a score which is made up of several factors which includes your age your English proficiency your education your work experience and then you will need to join the pool of other candidates and wait to be invited to apply for permanent residency. IRCC, which is the Immigration Refugee and Citizenship of Canada usually conduct draws say every two weeks it has changed of recent so i will always just advise you keep checking on the ircc website for more information on when you know the draws were actually held but nobody actually has an information when the next draw is going to be conducted it's just for you to keep yourself abreast with information that is provided on the ircc website so how it works is if your score exceeds the IRCC cutoff for that particular draw, congratulations, you will then receive an invitation to apply for permanent residency. Another scenario is if your score is lower than the IRCC cutoff score, then you will need to remain in the pool until you receive an invitation to apply or until the express entry profile expires. If you have received an invitation to apply, you will need to submit a permanent residency application the vetting process takes about approximately 6 to 12 months and if you meet all the requirements you will be approved for permanent residency so let's take a look at the eligibility criteria for the express entry first eligibility criteria is age to be eligible for the express entry program you must be between the ages of 18 and 35. when it comes to education you must have a minimum of high school education or an equivalent certification when it comes to work experience you must have a minimum of a year of work experience in your skilled occupation and this work experience must be in the field that is listed on the national occupation classification list which is popularly known as NOC the next is language proficiency you must demonstrate proficiency in both English or French with the minimum score of seven in your IELTS testing test which is popularly known as the international English language testing system or better still in your French test of evaluation or evaluation de Francais which is popularly known as FTE or TEF. The next eligibility criteria is your skills assessment and if you are planning to apply for a trade or you know technical occupation you may need to undergo some skills assessment to confirm that you truly have the necessary skills to perform this trade job. Recently I had published a video talking about the trade, the trade occupations that are in demand and also sharing with you my personal experience on how I landed as a permanent resident through the federal skill trade program and you can do the same as well but you need to keep in mind that you need to have a CLB7 to open an express entry profile so now let's look at the cost 
of application. The cost of application can vary depending on the specific program that you are applying for. But in general, you should expect to pay a fee of approximately 1325 Canadian dollars for the principal applicant and 225 for each accompanying family member. When it comes to the duration of processing, the processing time for the express entry application can vary depending on the specific program that you are applying for and the volume of application received you guys know that recently the volume of application currently in the express entry system has drastically reduced and we are very thankful for this because now you get to see faster processing with a lot of applications a lot of people getting their permanent residency approved a lot of people getting their permits approved and this is just a wonderful news especially at a time like this however the express entry program is actually Actually designed to be fast and efficient with many applications being processed within six months but like I said this is subject to change you might be wondering when exactly can I get a feedback from you know on my application if your application had been there for a couple of months how do you actually get a feedback well not to worry you will receive a decision on your express entry application within a few weeks of submitting all of your required documents so if you are found eligible then you will be placed in the pool of applicants and ranked based on your point scores which we had earlier discussed in the video so let's look at the document that is required for a successful application application I know recently on the channel I had also published the documents that you need to have or you need to you know start processing especially if you plan to immigrate or you plan to relocate to a country or another country apart aside from Canada or even Canada for the year 2023 but over here I'm just gonna be brushing through some of those documents as well but if you want a more detailed video please I would advise you go over my playlist and check for that video because you're going to find it very very helpful so the first is you need to have your passport or travel document you must provide at least a valid passport of travel document as proof of your identity and citizenship two is your educational credentials you are required to provide proof of your educational credentials which includes your certificates and also your transcripts from your post-secondary institution that you have previously or you are currently attending Ending. the next is your language proficiency test you may be required in most cases to provide a result of your language testing such as your TEF your TFE and your IELTS the next is your work experience you are required to provide proof of your work experience which includes reference letters from your employer employment contracts your pay stub and so many other documents just to validate your work experience experience with that particular employer the next is police certificate if you have lived in a country for other than your home country for you know for six months or more you may be required to provide a police certificate to ensure that you've been of good conduct in terms of your behavior as a citizen of that country and you don't have any you know charges against you next is your medical examination you must undergo medical examination and this is just to confirm that you are in good health and you are fit most popular one is your proof of fund you must provide proof that you have enough money enough fund to support yourself and to also support your company family member during your first few months in Canada and this is very 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 important and should be taken with a lot of seriousness because you can imagine coming into a country you really don't have enough money to take care of your family to show as proof to rent an apartment and that is why many a times recently you get to hear a lot of news about a lot of people that you know come into a country they can't even afford to rent an apartment for one month it can be very very distorted it can be very very annoying because you as a new immigrant instead of focusing on searching for jobs networking or dealing with bigger problems to see who you can get money from just to 
pay for your rental pay for food and that has a way of just demoralizing you as a newcomer so that you pay very close attention in making sure that you have the required proof of fund and this is basically for you it's for your upkeep it's not for the government it's for you to have that handy and to be able to make ends meet pending when you are able to settle in properly in this new country that you found yourself in. It's also important to note that even if you get invited and you submit a PR application, it's not guaranteed that you will get a permanent residence right away. IRCC still needs to undergo a thorough vetting of your application, you know, just to make sure that you meet all the requirements before approving your application for permanent residency status in Canada. So the express entry system is a two-part process which includes submitting an express entry profile and also the other part is even an invitation to apply for permanent residency. This point-based system considers several factors and IRCC conducts draw more or less every two weeks but we see a change and we can't really say it's two weeks anymore but whenever a draw is conducted you will surely be informed and this will determine who will receive an invitation to apply. So the vetting process might take Take six to 12 months you know for the entire application process but once you are eligible and you are approved you will surely get a confirmation to permanent residency I remember when I got that letter oh my god it's such a privilege to be a permanent resident of Canada for those of you that are still in the pool in no time, by God's grace, you will also get an invitation to apply and every other thing will be a thing of the past, okay? But I wish you all the very best while you're waiting. And for those of you who are just going to go ahead to open an express entry profile, I wish you speed in your application and in your submission as well. I hope this video was very informative and you found it very helpful as well. If you found it valuable, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos on immigration related topics. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Till then, have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.